to another Workday in My Life vlog. If you've never seen me before, my name is Madeline. I work an eight to five job as a quality assurance analyst for a software company. So I just test software. I vlog stuff about work, fitness, other lifestyle content. Today I am gonna do a Workday in My Life vlog. You guys seem to really like these and I've just been in such a filming editing mood. So I just wanna keep creating. So it is 7.17, I have a one meeting at eight o'clock today. That's when my work day will start. The next thing is just gonna be making breakfast and then starting work. In today's video, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I do all day at work. We have to time track what we're doing anyway, so I thought it might be interesting to show you guys exactly what I'm spending time on, how much time, kind of what that breakdown looks like. I always like learning about other people's jobs and what they actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. I am super hungry, so let's go make breakfast. Those meetings are scheduled for 15 minutes, but they never last 15 minutes. Gave an update on the issues we're working on, where they're at. Today I have two issues that I'm hoping to complete. Today is Wednesday, which is our deadline day. So all of the code that's been installed to the testing environment has to be approved and ready for release by the end of today. We're in a pretty good spot. Sometimes Wednesdays are a little dicey just because there is the deadline, but I just have one small thing to test on one issue, just one fix that I think is installed. I'm gonna have to double check. Okay, I just ran through that scenario and the validation is fixed, which is great. So once a bug has been fixed, I move it from the reported column to the fixed column. Yeah, just so I can keep things straight because there's so much going back and forth between the devs and QA. So since that is fixed, I can finish my documentation and get that issue done. issue is testing the fix and I found something else so that's not good hopefully she can fix it today if not I'll make another issue to address it in our next release which is okay because we're developing a new feature so this is not gonna be used by clients for I think another month but we'll see I've been working on this one issue for like weeks because it's just a lot more complex than we thought it would be my brain hurts from that <laughs> so I'm gonna switch gears and finish up the other issue that's a lot more straightforward. I just finished up that other issue and sent it off for approval. It's 10 a.m., which is usually when I take a break to go get a snack. So I'm gonna do that because I'm hungry. I'm about to take my lunch break. I get an hour for lunch. I spent the last 45 minutes getting my test cases and scenarios written up for our upcoming issues. That'll be in our next weekly. Then I spent the last like 10 minutes looking through the career path for quality assurance analyst. There are certain 
tests and trainings that you have to complete within your first two years and then you can like level up, get promoted basically. Um, so I'm looking into that and kind of making a list of the stuff I have completed and what I still need to take care of. So I've been there for a year. So I've got another year um, to get all this stuff done. I, I usually go for a walk during lunch, but today I actually have a posing session with my coach because I'm training for a bodybuilding competition. So <laughs> I'm gonna be doing that for 30 minutes of my lunch and then I'll catch up with you guys after that. Hey guys, so it's lunchtime, but it's the next day. Had some unforeseen things happen yesterday, not work related, but kind of interrupted the video, but I want to finish it and I have to work today too. So I'm just going to combine yesterday morning of work and today afternoon of work to make a full day of work. It is 1130, taking my lunch break a little earlier today. We're going for a walk, we being me and... What's up? Jackson. <laughs> then I'll eat lunch and get back to work and tell you guys what I'm doing. So I'm back in my office, walked back into work. It is 12.26. I have my lunch. It's my usual burrito bowl. I'm just gonna eat that and I'm drinking a Celsius with it. I'm trying these and I'm just not a huge fan. They're like too sweet for me or something, but I want the caffeine. This morning has actually been way different than yesterday morning. Yesterday morning was pretty busy just trying to finish stuff up before the release. Um, <laughs> and then this morning, the issues that were getting installed, there's been a lot of delays. First thing I'm gonna do after lunch is check and see if those changes are on the testing environment. If they are, I'll start testing those issues. Other than that, I've been just kind of prepping for upcoming issues. We're actually completing our work early. So we're gonna pull in a few more things by the end of this sprint. So I was just looking through those, checking which ones we're gonna to wanna to pull in to complete. It's 145. I've been working on testing one issue this whole time. Did find something wrong, reported it to the dev. Just working on that. Um, at two o'clock, I have a backlog refinement, which is the meeting with my immediate team. So the other QA and the devs, product manager and our scrum master, where we go over all of our upcoming issues and we refine them. Make sure we know all the specifics. If we're adding a button, what color is the button? What happens when you click the button? Does there need to be a loading state for the button? That's where we really get to talk through usability and UI. And as QA, I get to try to think like the user and point out anything that might mess someone up or just not make as much sense. But I have 13 minutes before that meeting. I'm gonna take like a little 10 minute stretching break because I've been sitting for over an hour now. People complain about meetings and there's like, like, oh, this meeting could have been an email and whatnot, but I really don't have that many. Sometimes I do. The last few days I haven't had very many meetings and having one hour long meeting in the afternoon really does make the day go by a lot faster. We're really productive in our backlog meetings. So like we talk about a lot of stuff and, and there's a little bit of human interaction. So that's nice. I always turn my camera on, on zoom. We're not required to, but about half of us do, and I think it just makes it much nicer than just talking to someone's like name. Another day, another smoothie bowl. working through testing some stuff. And then I started to notice a few weird things happening on the testing environment and then more weird things. And, and now it's in the industry, what we call um, a dumpster fire. Everything's broken on the, on the testing environment currently. I found the error that it's throwing and it's not even from my module. So one of the teams out there 
really did something. I'm kind of stuck on that while another team fixes whatever it, whatever happened. I'm gonna go back through looking through our backlog and the issues that we'll be bringing in shortly, prepping for those, doing some preliminary testing for those that I can do. Yeah, spent about 20 minutes trying to figure out what was happening. It's just all broken. That happens sometimes. It's 4.50, so I have 10 minutes left of work. So I usually try to kind of go through and make sure my testing notes are updated. Those are really just for me, just so tomorrow morning, if I need to ask to have anything installed, I know to do that. If I need to report something to someone who's already off, I have a note to do that. So I make sure that that's all updated and like if any bugs have been fixed throughout the day, then I move them over to the fixed bug column which we had several fixed during the day today, so that's great. I also go through and close some tabs. Always have lots of tabs open because each of our issues has its own tab, but try to close the ones that are not needed. Make sure I've saved everything. Yeah, just get everything closed for the day and ready for tomorrow. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for helping us hit a thousand subscribers. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I'm gonna end it here because I'm just gonna chill this evening, take it easy. I'll see you next time. So